Hi Booktube, this is Johnny. Decided to make a video. I'm sitting here and writing in my diary, listening to some some music. And uh, yeah, not much is going on tonight. Don't really feel about reading anything. I uh, I did get some thrift store books. Hold on. I did get some thrift store books. I uh, today I got this book, How to Be Both, a novel by. Ali Smith, uh, this was a Man Booker Prize finalist. This came out in 2014. She's up for the Booker Prize this year for her book, Autumn. And I found this memoir. I really like the cover on this thing. It's called Body Toxic, Environmental Memoir. It's by Susanna Antonetta. It's a New York notable book. I collect memoirs, diaries, letters, because I keep a diary and I like reading letters and memoirs. So I got that today at a Goodwill store. Then I found this interesting book, Sanctuary Cinema, The Origins of Christian Film Industry. Industry? What's it? Industry? Uh, this is by the New York University Press. It's about the early days of Christian films in the silent movie era. Uh, this is by New York University Press. I get that. I didn't know that they made movies, Christian movies, back in the silent movie era. Then I found this novel by an Australian writer, Tim Whit Witten, Dirt Music. Uh, got rave, re rave reviews from the London Sunday, Sunday Times, The Age, Chicago Tribune, The Independent, The Weekend Australian. I never heard of him, I'll oh, check him out. And then I found this book, Savages first-hand account from the author of Running the Amazon, how one small band of Amazonian warriors defended their territory against hell-bent oil companies and dog missionaries and starry-eyed event environmentalists. This is by Joe Kane, Savages. Uh, many years ago, when I first went to Bible college, I was a missionary major in my in my youth and being uh, kind of crazy, I thought I'd, be a, I'd become a missionary and go to South America and be among the Amazonian Indians. So I've always had an interest in the Amazon Indians and the Amazon jungle. And then I found a thrift store. This is by John Tolan in Inf Inf Infamini. Pearl Harbor and the Aftermath. I have his uh, big massive biography on Hitler. He is a scholar on the Second World War. And this is uh, Matilda by Raul Dial. I collect him. He, this is children's literature. Uh, I didn't have this one in my collection. I have a big stack of his books. Then I found this uh, young adult book on America, on the Plain Indians, the Sundance People, by Richard Eros. Uh, I like this book because of the illustrations in it, and I also liked uh, you know, the illustrations. I collect book on American Indians. It was only you know, 50 cents. So I got that. You know. 
And then I found this book by, this, he was a New York, uh, he wrote for the New Yorker in the 40s. This is Daniel Lane, From Hiroshima to the Moon, Chronicles of Life in the Atomic Age by Daniel Lane. This uh, came out in 1959, and it's about, I, I like books by New York writers, the New Yorker writers. Um, so it talks about the making of the atomic bomb and its effect upon people, and he interviews this, he interviews the physicists who made the atomic bomb in this. I got this book for the book nook. I have it in my library, in our library. It's by Edward Abbey, Alvey, the Monkey Wrench Gang. Got this for the book nook. He, some of my favorite writers, and I highly recommend him. I got this also for the book nook, The Volcano, Volcano Lover, A Romance by Susan Santang. Like the cover. And I found this uh, little little picture book on Paris, past and present. I mainly got it for the illustrations. It's only 50 cents. Uh, I collect books on Paris, and I get all kind. I just got it from my Paris collection. I'm still reading Kurt Vonnegut's. Wampers, Foma, and Grand Falloons. These are like miscellaneous pieces. And I found this, uh, I have four novels by this guy. His name is David Leavitt. These are stories, a place I've never been. I only could find one of his other novels in our book, book collection. This is his novel. While England Sleeps by David Livett. I have three others. Many years ago, I read his book, uh, his novel, Lost Language of Cranes. And then I found this uh, historical novel, Tales of Passion, Tales of Woe by Sandra Gulen. And the essential gaucho writings by and for about. Gracho Marx, selected and edited by Stephen Canfer. And then I found this biography on Capone, A Man in the Air, by Lawrence Burgreen. I just read his biography on Don Juan. I think it was on Don Juan. Can't remember. My mind just went blank. <laughs> I just read a biography of his. What was it? Casanova. I read his biography on Casanova. That's what. Uh, and so I found his biography in Capone, The Man in His Era. He also wrote The Life of Irving Berlin. I like A Thousand Cheers, The Life of Irving Berlin. Maybe I'll find one of his biographies at the upcoming used book sale there in South Haven. So right now, today is August the 9th. It is 8.31 at night. It's a Wednesday. I've been writing in my diary. I'm on page 718. So I thought I'd just make a little video, make an update about what's going on in my very quiet hermit cell. Tomorrow is a Thursday, then we're Friday. Week is going by. We'll be in the middle of the month before you know it. So I hope you're having a good week. And until next time, bye.